Today we have an iPhone 12 Pro Max that only plays sound through the top speaker when it is being used. When we cover the top speaker with our finger, we realize that the bottom speaker isn't producing any sound. The first thing we're going to do is remove the two screws from the bottom. Then we'll use this tool along with heat to lift and detach the screen from the frame. We apply heat and start applying pressure so that the screen starts to detach from the frame. We increase the pressure and use our opening tool. We start to open the edges. We continue applying heat until the screen starts to separate from the bottom frame. Now that it's halfway open, we'll open it from the top. In this case, since the phone has never been opened before, it's a bit tough. We continue applying a little pressure with alcohol and heat on the screen. Now we push the screen down to unhook it from the frame. If we force the screen, it can break. And the value of one of these screens can go up to $140. Now that we've opened it, we're going to remove the metal shield from the screen connectors with a Y-shaped screwdriver. After this, we disconnect the battery to prevent short circuits on the motherboard, and then we disconnect the screen. Now we remove the metal shield covering the connectors from the top of the motherboard. After this, we disconnect the proximity sensor. The speaker that's failing is located on the bottom right of the phone. We're going to remove four screws with a Phillips screwdriver and take it out. We put the multimeter in continuity and compare it with a new speaker. The speaker that's good should produce sound at the contact points. That is, continuity, like this. And the one that's bad shouldn't produce sound. If it doesn't, then the problem is the speaker. Now we're going to take the good speaker and install it. We put it in, align it in the housing, and screw in the four screws using a Phillips screwdriver. We make sure it's screwed in properly. And now we're going to install the screen. We connect the proximity sensor and the screen. After making sure everything is properly connected, we install the metal shield on top. We put in the four screws. After this, we connect the battery and install the metal shield that protects the screen with another four screws. Before closing the phone, we test the speaker. We turn on the phone and wait for it to reach the main screen. We go into settings and test the sound. Now we're going to verify. As you can see, both speakers are working. Now we close the screen, put in its two screws, and this repair has been a complete success. If you're looking to acquire the skills needed to perform repairs like this one, I highly recommend visiting CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com. Our academy specializes in providing top-notch training programs, including personalized one-to-one -one private trainings.